The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the letter of St. James. How does it help, my brothers, when someone who has never done a single good act claims to have faith? Will that faith bring salvation? If one of the brothers or one of the sisters is in need of clothes and has not enough food to live on, and one of you says to them, I wish you well, keep yourself warm and eat plenty, without giving them these bare necessities of life, then what good is that? In the same way, faith, if good deeds do not go with it, is quite dead. But someone may say, so you have faith and I have good deeds. Show me this faith of yours without deeds then. It is by my deeds that I will show you my faith. You believe in the one God. That is creditable enough. But even the demons have the same belief. And they tremble with fear. Fool, would you not like to know that faith without deeds is useless? Was not Abraham our father justified by his deed because he offered his son Isaac on the altar? So you can see that his faith was working together with his deeds. His faith became perfect by what he did. In this same way, the scripture was fulfilled. Abraham put his faith in God, and this was considered as making him upright. And he received the name Friend of God. You see now that it is by deeds and not only by believing that someone is justified. As a body without a spirit is dead, so is faith without deeds. And our response is taken from Psalm 112. Alleluia! How blessed is anyone who fears Yahweh, who delights in His commandments. His descendants shall be powerful on earth. The race of the honest shall receive blessings. Riches and wealth for his family, his uprightness stands firm forever. For the honest, he shines as a lamp in the dark, generous, tender-hearted, and upright. All goes well for the one who lends generously, who is honest in all his dealing. For all time to come, he will not stumble. For all time to come, the upright will be remembered. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus called the people and his disciples to him and said, If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross and follow me. Anyone who wants to save his life will lose it. But anyone who loses his life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. What gain, then, is it for anyone to win the whole world and forfeit his life? And indeed, what can anyone offer in exchange for his life? For if anyone in this sinful and adulterous generation is ashamed of me and my words, the Son of Man will also be ashamed of him when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. And he said to them, In truth I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God come with power. The Gospel of the Lord.